Solving the Rubik's Cube is fun. Solving the Rubik's Cube is cool. But most of all, solving the Rubik's Cube is hard. Until now. My name is Milan and on this channel we go, <laughs> yo, I solely make videos about Rubik's Cubes and when I decided to make the beginner's tutorial, I made sure to make it as easy as possible for you guys to follow along. I will go over the basic concepts you will need to understand, walk you through all the steps and even covering all of the pitfalls that may occur. And at the end of the video, you will find an example solve where I solve a completely scrambled Rubik's Cube using the techniques that I taught in this video. So grab your scrambled Rubik's Cube and let's get solving. To solve the Rubik's Cube, we have to understand what we are actually solving. We aren't solving stickers on a 3x3 grid on each side of the cube, yeah. But we're actually solving pieces, each of which have a very specific solve position on the cube. First of all, there are center pieces. And no matter how much I scramble the cube, those will always stay in place. So you cannot really solve them. Instead, the center pieces tell you which color needs to be on that side. For example, on the white center needs to be the white face. But it also means that, for example, yellow will always be opposite of white. Then there are the pieces that we are solving, edges and corners. Edges have two colors and they are solved when both colors match the colors of the corresponding centers. And lastly, we have corner pieces. They have three colors and they are solved when the three colors match the corresponding edge colors. Now that we know that, it makes sense to not solve the Rubik's Cube face by face because the pieces on this cube are totally not solved. Instead, we're going to be using a method that solves the cube piece by piece, layer by layer. Because the cube actually consists of three layers. And all you need to know to be able to do this is one algorithm I'm showing you right now. An algorithm is a sequence of moves that you will have to memorize. The algorithm I'm gonna show you right now is called the sexy move. I'm not kidding. But for the sake of this tutorial, I'm just gonna call it the righty algorithm. The righty algorithm is just four moves. We turn the right layer clockwise, the up layer clockwise, and then just the same in reverse, right anti-clockwise and the upper layer anti-clockwise. Once more, right, up, right back, up back. Since we're gonna do it a couple of times, I would advise you to copy my hand movements. Turn with your right hand up, push with your right finger, turn your right hand down, push with your left finger. We're gonna do the exact same thing on the left side and call it the lefty algorithm. Move the left side up, push with your left finger, Left side down, push with your right finger. I highly recommend practicing both algorithms because we will be using them a lot in this tutorial. Once you understand these basic concepts and know the algorithms, you can move on. The first step of solving the Rubik's Cube is creating a cross on the white layer of the cube. But as you remember, the cross pieces need to be solved correctly, which means the colors need to line up with the centers. It's very easy because we're going to do it in two steps. We're going to start off by creating a daisy. In other words, putting white edges around the yellow center. So grab your cube and let's get solving. For this step, we're only going to look at the four edges that have white on them. At this stage, it doesn't really matter what you're doing with all the other pieces. We're going to be holding the yellow center on top and start aligning the white edges to the yellow center. Here I have a white edge and I can just place it up like so. Here's another one, just one turn. Here's another one. Look how easy it is. Now the last one is a bit more tricky because if I put this one up, it puts the other one down. So instead we're gonna use the empty space and just place it in that spot. And voila, we have our daisy. The hardest case you can get when creating a daisy is when you have a white edge in the top layer but flipped upside down, like shown here. We can easily solve this by putting the edge one place down. Once again, we cannot just put it up but instead we're gonna put the empty slot on top of it and then just insert it like so. Damn, this is easy. Once we have our daisy, we can just line up the edge color that is facing us to the correct center and place it down. This way, every edge will be in the correct spot. So here's green, line it up and put it down. Here we have blue, line it up once again, place it down. And lastly, the orange piece, just like that. And we have our cross. Something very important to understand is that during the rest of this solve, we're going to be holding the cross to the bottom. And we need to make sure that we never break our cross during our solve. 
The cross is the most intuitive step of the entire solve. So if you can figure out how to do it yourself, that's totally fine. But if it's difficult, just go slowly and try to understand everything you're doing. Now, the reason we created this white cross is because if we solve the white corner pieces in their right place, we have solved the first layer. Not just a side, but a layer, which is way cooler, obviously. If you know the algorithms I showed you earlier in this video, this is the easiest step of the whole solve. While holding the cross at the bottom, we're gonna look for corners with white stickers in the top layer. Here I found one! Now we need to determine where this piece needs to go. And looking at the other two colors, orange and blue, it needs to go in between the orange and blue centers right here. We put this corner piece right on top of where it needs to go and now we need to look at where the white sticker is facing. There are three different positions the white sticker can be in. It can face to the right, it can face to the left or it can face to the top. If the white sticker faces to the right, we hold the corner on the right side and do the righty algorithm. And now the corner is solved. If the white sticker faces to the left, we hold the piece on the left side and do the lefty algorithm. And just like that, the corner is solved. If it faces up, we put it to the right side and do the righty algorithm three times. One, two, and a three. And bam. Now you should be able to solve all the white corners in their correct position this way. Just make sure to check where it needs to go and which way it is facing and do the correct algorithm as I showed before. There is one pitfall that may occur, and that is when there is no white corners on the top of the cube, but there is a corner in the bottom layer that is placed incorrectly. This is really easy to fix. Just hold that corner to the right side and do the righty algorithm. And now the corner is in the top again, and you can solve it as shown before. The first layer should be pretty easy if you know your algorithms, but just make sure you're really good at doing it, because we're gonna be using these techniques in the next step. If we now solve the four edges of the second layer, we have the first two layers of the cube solved. How crazy is that? Holding the white layer at the bottom, we're gonna look for edges in the top layer that don't have any yellow in them. For example, this edge with red and blue. We're gonna line up the color that is facing us with the matching center. In this case, red belongs to the red center, just like so. Now facing this edge, the only thing we need to do is figure out which way it has to go. It either has to go to the left side, or it has to go to the right side. Since this edge has red and blue in it, it needs to go in between the red and blue centers, right there. So, to the left side. To solve this case, we just keep the edge facing towards us, and using the upper layer, we're gonna turn the edge one turn away from where it needs to go. And we do the lefty algorithm, just like so. Now I took out this corner again, but if we solve it just the same way as I showed you earlier in this video, white sticker faces to the right, so right the algorithm, we have solved the edge with the corner. Now the red and green edge I'm showing right here needs to go to the right side, so this is the other case you can get. We're gonna do the exact same thing but now mirrored. So while facing the edge, we put it one turn away from where it needs to go, then we do the righty algorithm, and now we just need to solve the corner again just as we did before. It faces to the left, so lefty algorithm, and voila, we solve the edge with the corner. If you come across a case where the edge you're looking for is flipped in its own place, we can just replace that edge by any random edge in the top layer. I'm going to insert the yellow and blue edge. So I'd put it one turn away, did the righty algorithm, and reinserted the corner. If you've done that, the edge you're looking for is back in the top layer and you can just solve it just as we did before. Left the algorithm, solve the corner. Using these techniques, it should be pretty easy to build the second layer. To solve the rest of the cube, we're gonna be doing four little steps. First off, we're gonna make a cross on the top layer. Then we're gonna make sure that those cross pieces are solved to their correct spot. Then we're putting the corners into their right spot. And lastly, we're solving the corners. We're not gonna do it this way, but uh, yeah. All of these steps are pretty simple, but just make sure that you're not making a single mistake because the smallest mistake when solving the last layer can result in the entire cube being scrambled again. So just carefully follow along and you will be fine. We're gonna start off by making the yellow cross. To make the yellow cross, we're just gonna be looking at the four yellow edge pieces. There are four different patterns they can be in. Either the cross is already there, you can just skip this step, or it is in one of the following positions, a dot, an L shape, or a line. If on your cube only one or three edges are facing up, you will have to take the cube apart and flip an edge, because otherwise the cube is unsolvable. To solve the cross, we're gonna start with the dot case. You can hold it in whatever orientation you want, and you turn the front face clockwise. Then you do a righty algorithm, and you undo the first move. Now we created an L shape. 
We're gonna do the exact same thing for this case, but just make sure that the L is in the top left corner. So the front face clockwise, write the algorithm, undo the first move. And now we have a line. We're gonna do this step one more time, but just make sure that you're holding the line horizontally. Front, clockwise, write the algorithm, and undo the first move. And look what we have right there, a cross. So we have our cross, but the edge pieces aren't yet in the right position. And that's what we're gonna do right now. Maybe not this fast, but we'll get there. To do so, we're gonna use an algorithm. Another algorithm? Yes, but if you have eyes, it's gonna be very, very easy. Cause we're gonna be keeping track of this pair right here. Just notice how it moves around. First of all, we're gonna take the pair out and put it in the front. Align the cross again. Now we put the pair into the back. Bring the spot where it needs to go up again. And now put it all the way back. Just align the cross now. And that is our algorithm. Just practice it a couple of times and I promise that once again, it is very, very easy. If you are interested, this alg is called the soon. Yeah. Okay, let's put this soon into action. The first step is we're gonna try to align as many edge colors as we can to the correct centers. For example, right here, I have aligned the blue edge and the green edge to their centers. You will either be able to match two edges or all four. If you have all four, you can just skip this step because your cross is solved. If you are able to line up two edges, they either gonna be across from each other or right next to each other. If they are across from each other, you can do a soon algorithm from any angle you want. Now you should be able to align two edges once again, but this time they are gonna be right next to each other, like I'm showing right here. We wanna hold those two edges in the back and to the right and do another soon. If you now align your edges once again, you will notice that the whole cross is solved. Woohoo! Now all we need to do is solve the last four corners. The second to last step of solving a Rubik's Cube is putting all the corner pieces into the right spot. Not solve them yet, but just making sure that they are in the right spot. And yes, we're gonna be using an algorithm to do this. But once again, if you have eyes, you're gonna be totally fine. Because it is very, very easy. We are going to be keeping track of this pair once again. And bring it up and into the back. Now, without aligning the cross, we're gonna put the left pair up and also into the back. This way you can solve the right pair. And we can now solve the left pair by aligning it again and bringing the cross down. That is your algorithm. This algorithm is called the Nicholas. Good old Nicholas. Now we are gonna be looking for corners that are in the right position. This orange and green corner is in between the blue and red edge, so it's not in the correct spot. This blue and red corner in between the orange and blue edge, not in the correct position. Once again, this corner not in the correct position, but here in between the red and green edge, we have the red and green corner. So this is in the right position. You're either gonna be finding one corner that's in the right position, no corners, or all four corners. In which case you can skip this step. If you have one corner in the right position, hold it to the left side and do your Nicholas algorithm. Right pair up and into the back, left pair up and into the back, solve the right, solve the left. If you now align the cross again, we notice that all the corners are in the correct position. Now, if you have no corners that are in the correct position yet, just do the Niklas algorithm from any side you would like to. Align the cross again. You might have to do this twice, but eventually you will have one corner that is in the right spot. And we can just do what we did before. Hold it to the left side and do a Niklas. And now all the corners are in the correct position, ready to be solved. We're so close right now. If we could just twist the corners, we would be done. But we're not gonna do it this way because the way I'm gonna show you right now is so much more satisfying. At this point, I just wanna say congrats for making it this far because the last step is gonna be pretty easy. And thanks for following my tutorial. Now let's just go ahead and solve that Rubik's Cube. For the last step, we're gonna break a rule and put the yellow side on the bottom. Now during this step, we can only do righty algorithms and move the down face. Don't do anything else like rotating the cube because if you do so, you will have to start from square one. No one wants that. Now we're gonna be looking at the corner in the right bottom side of your cube. This corner right here. We're gonna do righty algorithms until this piece is solved. That's one righty algorithm. That's two righty algorithms. That's three. That's four. 
And now the corner is solved. Make sure you always complete your ID algorithms before moving on to the next corner. We're gonna turn the down face and do every corner. This one is solved, so we can skip it. But this one isn't. So once again, ride the algorithms. One. Two. Let's go to the next corner. That's finished. <gasps> you have solved your first Rubik's Cube. Congratulations. And now knight you a cuber. Before I show you the example solve, since you are a cuber right now, you might be interested in my own line of cubes, the Yo Cubes. These cubes are set up and looped the way that I like them the most, but apparently the community loves them a lot too. From the three cubes, the Yo Cube Eco is the cheapest option, and in my opinion, the best cube to start off your cubing journey. If you buy anything from thecubicle.com, make sure to use discount code CUPED for a huge discount. On to the example solve. So we're starting off by making the daisy, which means only looking at the wide edges. One of them is already aligned, so let's go for the next one. We can just move this up. To solve the next one, we need to put the solved edge to the side and then insert it. Now looking for the last edge right here, we can just put it up like so. And now we have our daisy. To solve the cross, we're just going to make sure the edge are aligned to the right center and put it down. We have orange right here, so align it to the right center and then put it down. Green, align it, put it down. And now the last one, just already aligned and we can just put it down like so. And we have our cross. Now the next step is to solve the first layer corners. We have an orange and blue corner right here. So we're gonna put it above the spot where it needs to go in between the orange and blue centers. And now we see that the white is facing to the left. So hold it to the left side and do a left sexy move. First corner inserted. The next one, the blue and red corner. Hold it on top of where it needs to go. The white sticker is facing to the left, so hold it to the left side once again and do a lefty algorithm. Now the next corner has green and orange in it. Hold it above the spot where it needs to go. White color is facing to the right, so hold it to the right side and do a righty algorithm. Just one corner left, which is the red and green corner. Hold it above where it needs to go. The white is facing to the right, hold it to the right and do a righty algorithm. Our first layer is solved. Now to solve the second layer, we're gonna look for edges that don't have any yellow in them, like this blue and orange one. Align it to the right center and decide where it needs to go. This one needs to go to the left. So while facing the edge, we put it one turn away of where it needs to go, do a lefty algorithm, and now we solve the corner like we would do before with a righty algorithm. Looking for the next one in the top layer, the orange and green one, align it. This one needs to go to the left, so once again one turn away from where it needs to go, lefty algorithm, and just solve the corner again. The next edge is the red and blue one, align it. This one needs to go to the left once again, so the same thing, put it away, lefty algorithm, reinsert the corner. The last one is the red and green edge. This one finally needs to go to the right, so we put it one turn away from where it needs to go. We do a righty algorithm. And now we reinsert the corner. And now we have our first two layers solved. Now for the last layer, we're gonna start off by making a cross on the top. And we notice that we have an L shape. That one we needed to put in the left top. Front move clockwise, righty algorithm, and undo the front move. Now we have created the line. While holding that horizontally, we do the same thing. Front move, ride the algorithm, and undo the front move. Next up, we're gonna try to align as many yellow cross edges as we can. Right now, it's only aligned the orange one, and now it has aligned the green and the red one. Since they are besides each other, we hold it in the back and to the right, and do our soon algorithm. Take the pair out, put it into the back, and insert it once again. Align the cross again, and now all of the cross edges are aligned to the correct center. Now looking for corners that are in the right position, I see that we have one, the blue and red corner. Holding that to the left, we do our Niklas algorithm. Take the right pair out, take the left pair out, solve the right pair, solve the left pair, and align the cross once again. Now we still have one corner that is in the right position, so we're just gonna do this once again. Hold it to the left and do our Niklas algorithm. <laughs> we actually skipped the last step, so the cube is already solved. But I'm actually gonna twist some corners to show you what to do in the likely case that the corners aren't solved yet. We're gonna flip the cube upside down, we're gonna do righty algorithms until the bottom right corner is solved. Just make sure that you always do the four moves. 
Now this corner is solved, so let's go to the next one. Once again, write the algorithms. One, two, three, four. Now that we have solved that corner, the entire cube is solved.